Hello everyone. Uh, I am one of the faculty member in biology at Education World Gurdaspur. And uh, today I will uh, discuss on basics of the skeleton especially with respect to the human beings and if we discuss about uh, the skeleton in case of uh, the human beings we generally see in human beings the skeleton is of two different types one is referred to the name of exoskeleton and the second is endoskeleton the exoskeleton includes all hard and supportive structures which are present on the external surfaces of the body. Whereas the endoskeleton includes all hard and supportive structures which are present within the body. And the skeleton in human beings is uh, divisible into the two different uh, parts one unit of the skeleton is known as axial skeleton and uh, the second unit of the skeleton is known as appendicular skeleton and you may see here in the picture the axial skeleton includes all those bony structures which are present along the mid axis of the body which are present along the mid axis of the body they constitute the axial skeleton and it includes skull then vertebral column or backbone Then the chest bone, and along with that, ribs. This means the axial skeleton. is comprised of all those hard structures bony structures which are present along the mid axis of the body and this includes the skull the vertebral column chest bone and ribs the chest bone is biologically referred to the name as sternum this is called as a sternum Axial skeleton on the whole is comprised of 80 bones in human beings. Skull is made up of 29 bones. Vertebral column is made up of 26 bones. Whereas there is a single sternum or chest bone and there are 12 pairs of ribs at all. And if you add up the bones in the axial skeleton, it comes to be 80. 29 of skull plus 26 of vertebral column, 12 pairs or 24 of the ribs, and 1 of the stem.
The second part of the human skeleton is comprised of the bony structures which are present not along the mid axis of the body but rather on the lateral sides of the body. So this is referred to the name of a pentacular skeleton. The second kind of the skeleton is a pentacular skeleton. And this pentacular skeleton is made up of 120 bones. It is made up of 120 bones. For example, if we see These includes bones of the arms, the bones of the arms, you may see in the diagram. Along with that, shoulder girdle or pectoral girdle and the bones of legs. You may see in the diagram. The bones of legs and along with that hip girdle or pelvic girdle. So keep in mind one thing, a pentacular skeleton is comprised of all the bony structures which are present on the lateral sides of the mid axis of the body. It includes the bones of the legs, bones of the arms, shoulder girdle and hip girdle bones. So in the each arm there are 30 bones. In each leg there are 30 bones. So since we are having the four limbs, we are having the two arms and two legs. So hence the total number of bones in the legs and arms are 120. Whereas a hip girdle, if you see this diagram, the hip girdle are two in number in the human body. You may see they are two in the number in human body. On the right side we have one hip bone, on the left side another hip bone. So it means that the two are the hip bones, then shoulder girdle, it is having the two bones on each side, it is having the two bones on each side one flat bone which is called as a scapula and one cylindrical bone which is called as a clavicle or wish bone or polar bone. That is on the whole there are total four bones in the two pectoral girdle or shoulder girdle. So now if we take the sum total of the bones present in the pentacular skeleton 120 bones are there in the bones in the bones of arms and legs. Four are there in the pectoral girdle and two are there in the pelvic girdle or hip girdle. So the sum total comes to be 126. In the axial skeleton, there are found 80 bones. In the pentacular skeleton, there are found 120 bones, uh, 126 bones. On the whole, we have 206 bones in the human skeleton. So today I have uh, discussed a journal 
visionary a lecture on the human skeleton in the next lecture i will discuss the details of the axial skeleton as well as the pandicular skeleton so if you like this lecture kindly share this lecture like this video and uh, like the education world youtube channel as well thank you all